Hi, this is Mark with ValueCharts.com. We are broadcasting today up from the New York Traders Expo and looking forward to meeting a lot of you who are part of the ValueCharts.com trading community or who participate in our live trading room with Thomas Wood. So looking forward to meeting a lot of you here today. I know a few of you have mentioned that you would be up here and it would just be nice to have a chance to meet you in person and to say hello and talk about some trading ideas that you have or that we have. So getting here to the markets, I like a closing pattern that I saw on Friday in the March euro currency contract. And then this would also apply to the euro US dollar cross rate as well in the Forex markets. Now, the pattern I saw formed on the uh, daily price bar from Friday is what we call a yellow tipped doji. Now notice that I don't actually have the candlestick patterns displayed here in the trade station window, but and the reason why is because they they cannot display or trade station cannot display both candlesticks and the bar valuation together. So the graphics just don't work for that. So we can usually identify a doji pattern fairly easily even on an open high low close price bar as we look for the open and closing ticks on the price bar to be in close proximity so the friday bar qualifies for a doji pattern the yellow tipped aspect of this addresses the point that this bar has a yellow portion on the bottom here signifying that it traded down in the moderately undervalued valuation zone now, the reason why I like this is if you look over here at this line, this is our MQ regression, and we just use it as a very basic trend filter. It's green, showing that we're in an uptrend right now. So the trend is in our, our friend here, a trend is in our direction, looking to a buy potential here. And then if you look down here at the MQ momentum indicator as well, we see a very nice bullish divergence. We see that we have prices here selling off from the initial correction here of the most recent top. Uh, from the most recent top, I should say. And down here, we can see that we had a nice uh, strength here with the histogram signifying selling strength that came in the market. And then we have a new low in prices here with the last uh, three price bars, including today. And we have a higher reading with the histogram here. So that is a textbook bullish divergence, combining that with the yellow tip doji and also the green MQ regression creates a nice situation where this could be a very nice opportunity to buy. Now, what I typically like to do in these patterns is I like to buy on the open of the following price bar once we are confirmed that the doji pattern has formed, and that would be the opening on a Sunday night. And then what I like to do is put my stop right below the doji pattern or the candlestick pattern, or if you see more or another support level that's in close proximity that would actually serve as a better stop placement level, you could look at that as well. I, I like to do that. So there's, in general, you like to put it beyond the candlestick pattern, but, but be aware that there's other support and resistance levels close by that might actually be a better choice for stop placement. That's all we have for this video. I look forward again to meeting a lot of you here who have made the trip up to New York and otherwise we'll look forward to again meeting back up with you here in our trading room and on our website uh, this week. So good luck trading. Thanks for watching and have a great day.